Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Motors Toyota, Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, in today's vehicle video, I have a brand new 2022 Toyota Camry LE Edition. Nice color, new color on this one. Ash gray is the color. In today's vi video, I'm gonna go ahead and dive inside. We'll check out the trunk, we'll check out the back seat, jump in the driver's seat, check out all the uh, features that you get on a 2022 Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Heading into the inside, we'll stop here uh, quickly on the driver's door, point out some of the features. So it's pretty much all black vinyl doorway with a padded armrest. There's a little bit of a gray, I, sh I guess gray copper brown trim here. Might not show up on the camera all that way, all that well, so stop and take a look for yourself at the store. Chrome trim here, I like the way they roll it up into the door handle and make this kind of look seamless through here. Power windows, power mirrors, power door locks, auto up and down on all four windows. Bottle holders down here and a speaker in the door as well. The threshold does have a threshold protector standard so this area doesn't get scratched up. On the LE edition, uh, this particular one, we've got the power driver seat with power lumbar support. All LE trims come with a cloth interior, kind of a dark outside, and then the light gray patterned inside with that suede Toyota racing stripe down the center. Height adjustable headrest, also height adjustable seat belts, and your airbags, they're built right into the seat, so they move forward and backwards as you move the seat forward and backwards, best uh, position all the time. Up on the dashboard, there's four of these vents with on and up and down, on and off, kind of a gloss black trim with that gunmetal bezel around the edge. So there's four of them, two in the middle of the dash and one over there on the passenger side. As far as switches goes, here on the upper part of the dash, we have our trip meter and our dimmer switch for our dash lights. And then down here, this one has one additional switch because it has the cold weather package. So I'll start here is your automatic high beams. So you can turn those so they go on and off all by themselves. Traction control on and off, trunk release, gas door release, and then with the cold weather package, this is the switch to heat up the steering wheel. And then that also gives you a leather wrap steering wheel, that cold weather package. A Little bit of a storage cubby down here. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel right there. Gas brake, parking brake, and a dead pedal down here as well. And then this one does have the carpeted or the all-weather floor liners, which are in the trunk. They'd go right here, but it does not come standard with floor mats. Let's uh, jump in, sit down, and check it out. So here we go behind the wheel of the uh, Camry. Uh, just so you know, I've got my camera almost up to my nose just to give you the perspective from the driver's uh, seat in terms of visibility out the front. Really good visibility. Big outside mirrors. And of course, with all the uh, safety features like blind spot monitoring, should be pretty safe, to, good to go. Now I've got the seat all the way back, and I don't know if you can see my feet down here, but with the seat all the way back, I can't even reach the pedals. Now I'm a shorty, so that's no big surprise. But you can see I need to move that seat quite a ways forward in order for me to be comfortable. As I mentioned, the steering wheel is leather wrapped and heated as an extra charge on this one. We've got some chrome or silver trim on the inside, the chrome Toyota air, uh, emblem and an airbag here. On the left hand side, fingertip controls for your information center, so that's your fuel computer and such. That's all up here in the gauge cluster. We'll look at that in just a minute. We do have Bluetooth connectivity, voice activation and volume for your sound system right here on the steering wheel, so plenty of controls there. Over on the right hand side, we've got our cruise controls our uh, dynamic radar cruise control setting, lane departure on and off, and then we can change the radio stations right here as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start it up so you can see what it looks like when I start it. We do have smart keyless entry system, so foot on the brake, and we just push the button in, and it'll start right up. I'm gonna show you that uh, animation that they include. And there you go. So as far as your your front, your washer and wipers, they're over on this side. And we do have intermittent wipers as well. So the controls are all right here. 
Over on the left hand side is where we've got our headlight controls. So we do have daytime running lights. If we go into auto position, it will daytime running light for you. And then you can also go to the manual and then your high beams are forward. But we do also have um, automatic high beams so you can turn that on and all you have to do is just make sure you leave your high beams in the high mode and then it will automatically modulate back and forth for oncoming traffic or road signs. So once it's turned on, you can pretty much set it and forget it in terms of the high beams. Here's a look at our gauge cluster. Here on the left, we've got our tack and our temperature surrounded by a silver bezel. Over on the right, we've got our speedometer and our fuel gauge, and the gas door is gonna be on that side. There's a little arrow there to tell you that. Down the center of the instrument cluster, we've got our information center. So I'm just gonna back up here a little bit and kind of show you some of the features real quickly. Um, so the default mode here is your trip meter and you've got a digital speedometer, of course, a clock and such. And then we've got our uh, cruise control on and off, our dynamic radar cruise control. We're low on fuel, so we've got some warning lights on there. And then here's our safety sense settings. So let me go to the top. We've got lane tracing assist. You can turn basically turn these things on and off. Pre-collision, dynamic radar cruise control, blind spot monitoring, which was an extra charge on this one. Um, uh, road sign assist basically it reads speed limits and and stop signs and uh, and do not enter signs those types of things and let you know um, those at a glance right up on the gauge cluster so again you can turn those on and off if you don't like them you want to turn one off personalize it for your own likely liking heading over to the center console we'll take a quick look at our center stack now about a year was it 21 i think in the year 2021 i think they changed this out so it came more upright more like a tablet it is surrounded by gloss black trim the le edition uh, does not come with navigation uh, but as far as your audio capabilities am fm cirrus satellite radio and with the cirrus satellite radio you do get three months of their platinum uh, service at no charge after that it is a monthly service fee um, the sound system on here is very good. It's not great. It's not a JBL audio system, but in an entry-level uh, vehicle, I've been really surpri uh, surprised and pleased with the sound quality. Um, it's also uh, Amazon, Android, and Apple compatible, so all of that technology linking to your smartphone works like magic. We've got more of that gunmetal gray trim that runs all the way around here and then over into the dashboard and it kind of has a faux metallic finish here more of that gloss black trim on the upper side of it so from a stylistic look this is the le but they really have still given a lot of character a lot of style as we head back down the center stack here's your emergency lights here's your vents we do have automatic temperature control on both sides and you can sync those up so if one person wants a different temperature they can sync them up separately um, rear window defrost with the power heated outside mirror so when you tap that that's going to get the ice off the mirrors as well and then over on this side we've got our front window defrost so front window rear window and heated outside mirrors heading down to the uh, center console i'm just going to go ahead and switch into reverse Turn this off. I'm going to go ahead and switch it into reverse so you can see the backup camera. And even though it is the LE trim, still have path projection on the backup camera. And then there's also some adjustments that you can make in terms of the perspective that you might have of that. So it is a nice system. It is a four color system, um, easy to read, but no navigation. So I'm going to just pull this away here. I want to show you a couple different things down here. USB ports, 12 volt charging, so two opportunities. No wireless charging in here. This is just an odds and ends tray, if you will. And then underneath there is a hidden storage compartment as well. But uh, LE does not have wireless charging. It is an option on a Camry on some of the upscale versions. So coming back to the uh, center stack, we've got two cup holders here surrounded with the, the trim, uh, silver trim. We also have three uh, transmission controls, Eco, Normal, and Sport. Just be aware that Eco, Normal, and Sport all have their own um, color up in the dashboard. So I'll show you what I mean. We'll go here to change it, but if you look up on the, on the gauge cluster, right now I'm in Sport. So we've got a red lighting there. If I go to uh, Normal, it's blue. 
and then if I go over to eco it turns uh, white so just know that you can do your settings and you can still have that visual uh, cue up there um, but I know you will feel a difference in how it performs too so you'll you'll absolutely know what mode you're in now this one as I mentioned a couple times has the all-weather package which includes heated front seats and there's three temperatures on those for front driver front passenger the back seats zero heated seats on the LE all uh, all weather or the cold weather package the armrest on here is huge you will have no problem uh, putting two arms on here it is padded underneath it's a nice big deep uh, pocket here nice and wide you're gonna be able to put all you, all your stuff in there and you do have two more charging opportunities so a standard USB and then a USB-C so there are four different places you can plug in up front on the LE Camry here's another look at the front driver's seat there is a uh, or passenger seat there's a passenger assist grip here here's your visor we do have lighted vanity mirrors we also have visor extensions there are side curtain airbags up here as well and there's also airbag in the dashboard on this side as well the outside mirror this one does have the upgraded convenience package so that's going to give you the automatic dimming mirror and then also home link garage door openers in there as far as the overhead console we've got a place for your sunglasses we've got LED lights up here and then this switch right here is the safety connect so if you need help out on the road put that push that Toyota will get you roadside assistance which is included with your Toyota care package as well so a lot of great standard features up front on the Camry for 2022 LE edition let's uh, jump in the back seat and check that out so here's a look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. Visibility from back here is pretty darn good. There is a uh, overhead lamp here, uh, but nothing behind my head. So if I'm trying to read or something, I'm going to have to put the book or the map up here. So I'd, I would like to see them add some overhead lighting up here for your back seat passengers, but I regress. There are none. Also, no, no sunroof on this one. The one thing that is a big wow on the Camry to me is the legroom. Now I've got that seat in my normal driving position, so it's not all the way back, but look at how much space there is. I mean, no problem. If you've got long leg passengers, you're going to have plenty of room in the back seat of here. There is a storage compartment down here, just kind of an odds and ends tray, but no charging opportunities. Those can be installed. Plugs can be installed by the dealer. There is a pocket on the back of this seat, nothing on the driver's seat. Same door panel we saw on the front door with the chrome trim and the bottle holders and speakers. Passenger assist grip and a place to hang your suit coat. Back seats, three seat belts. Same fabric or padded fabric that we saw up front. Uh, safety anchors for your child safety seats down here. It will hold three passengers really comfortably, no problem there. Um, and then there is a, an armrest here with cup holders. So if you only have four people in here, you can have a great place to set your drinks. But the back seat on a Camry is super spacious. Headroom, legroom, shoulder room, really, really very good. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the trunk. In the trunk of the Camry, we have under down underneath here, we've got a temporary spare tire. So this is all your tools here. They're wrapped in this high density foam so they don't rattle around and then a temporary spare tire down underneath. But there is room underneath there to add additional emergency equipment like jumper cables or first aid kits or what have you. Also, little thing, but they give you this hook here that allows you to hook that up and get it out of your way. It's a nice wide, low liftover, and there's plenty of distance from here across to the other side for your golf, golf clubs if you need to get two or three sets in here. I don't think it'd be a problem, probably even four. There's hooks back here for your grocery bags and a cargo net. Cargo net's an accessory, cost extra. We do have fold down seats. There's a pull here and a pull over there. And then there's 60, 40 fold down. So you can drop those down. It's probably easiest if you just step up here and give it a push down. And those will pop down quite easily. Uh, they are not automatic up and down. So you can see here, how much extra room and distance you get there for snow skis garden tools or what have you it's a nice deep trunk there is a cargo light up on top there the deck lid is insulated for keep down on the road noise 
Also, there's a glow in the dark emergency release if somebody gets stuck in your trunk. And then there's a release right here as well to be able to open it. There's your license plate lights and that's your backup camera right there. And then you can also uh, use your remote key fob. So that's a quick interior overview on this 2022 Toyota Camry LE edition. Be sure and catch the uh, exterior video. So I did two separate videos. There'll be a link at the end of this one for the exterior. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the video or the vehicle, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.